Hello everyone. Welcome to my Excel world. Today I'm going to show a Excel tool which will help us in project planning. So I have recently made this. There are many project planning tools like MS Project, Primavera, even Jira can help in that regard. So is this an alternative to that? Obviously not. But if you are handling a small project where you want to make the plan quickly and also you want to make some nice visualizations like a Gantt chart, some color codings and add some dependency arrows, this Excel tool can really help. Let me show that to you. This is the tool I've been talking about. On my left, you can see different tasks and their categories and their owners, status, comments, uh, finish dates and duration. On the right, what you are seeing is the beautiful Gantt chart, which is color coded based on the status and the timeline. And it also has dependency arrows. And this tool allows us to share this plan very easily with stakeholders. Like all I have to do is go to view, go to page break view and set what is the length of the view I want to display. Then go to print. Now all you have to do is click on print. So here you can see the Gantt chart has come in uh, a PDF format which you can share it across your stakeholders in via email or you can post it on some SharePoint or something. Right. So this is a beautiful tool which will not only help us in effective project planning but also creates good visibility of the project tracker. All right back to the project planning excel tool now let me show you how to use this tool first obviously you're going to clear all this data and you want to add your own tasks which are related to your project so yeah please go ahead clear all this data and once you clear that click on update gang chart so that all the dependencies whatever are getting added here they will be erased from the dependency sheet all right so once you add all the tasks how do you add dependency? These are all clear. Category, task, owner, completion status, finish date, target finish date, duration and days. This is all very clear. I believe it's pretty straightforward. But how do we add dependencies is here you see a button on the top. Add new dependencies. So click on that. It will show a pop-up box saying select the task you want to add dependency. So you can select something like a design approval maybe. So design approval will require design revisions to be completed. Only then design approval can be given, right? So first we need to select the design approval. Then it will give a pop-up box saying place the cursor on the dependency of design approval. So dependency is de design revisions. So once you click OK, an arrow will be displayed showing that this dependency has been added now. And it will be updated in the dependency sheet you can see design approval de design revisions, right so this is how you add a dependency you can click on hide connections if you want to remove the arrows otherwise if you want to uh, check the connections for a particular task like for kickoff meeting i want to see what are the dependence and dependencies so i go to kickoff meeting select it and click on show connections right when i click on show connections so what it says is kickoff meetings has three predecessors. One is RACI matrix, goals and objectives have to be finalized. Then squad formation and vendor selection has to be done. So after these three activities only, kickoff meeting can be started, right? So once kickoff meeting is completed, this arrow is signifying that this is the successor for this task. Concept brainstorming sessions. So that's how it works. Let's click on hide connections again. Okay. So if you want to add a task in between, you can very well do that. Like say, I want to add a task between design revisions and design approval. I want to add a task saying the design documentation. Right. So I will add a new row. Design documentation. Okay. Responsibility is dev team. Then Maybe it is pending state as of now and it has to be done by maybe 17th of March and it's a two day activity 
and design documentation will start only after design revisions so let's add that dependency click on add dependency select design documentation then select design revisions which is the dependency all right arrow is added now design approval will be done only after design documentation so let's add that dependency as well select design approval then select design documentation so all these dependencies are finished to start kind of relations that means the dependency has to be completed only then the dependent will start so that's how uh, that this is a, one of the most famous type of dependency relation so i have added that right let me hide the connections all right now for the gantt chart you need to set the timeline so to set the timeline it's very easy go to the cell v4 so v4 has the date which i have inputted manually so here you can select something like maybe 21st of january right so all the dates will get updated and whatever you see here in gray or grayish white those are basically the weekends that is saturday and sunday so you can ideally you can set a monday date here so maybe i will select uh, 17th of jan yeah so once i do that all the timelines uh, all the other rest of the cells get uh, automatically updated so i have added up to 17 weeks here you can always extend that it will work for almost 100 weeks not to worry at all so let me explain the color codings in depth so the green whatever is there it signifies that the task has been done it's completed we need not worry then whatever the tasks are in red that indicates that the task by now it should have been completed but it's not it's not done yet right so that is red task then what is yellow task yellow task is it is in progress and it is within the timelines and what is pink pink is the task should have been started already but it is in pending state right now so the end date is not closed but it has not yet started it should have been started by now so if i select in progress and click on update can chart this task turns yellow right so that's how it works and what is blue blue is a task which is planned for future still there is time to start it so this is what this tool is all about i have explained how to use it i have explained what are the functionalities on it and one important point is since this is a macro file it should always be saved in dot xlsm format that is macro enabled workbook and this tool will work on uh excel 2016 excel 365 i have tested on both it works very well yeah if you have any queries please comment below i all i'll also attach an email address of mine you can always write to me if you have any specific query thank you very much for watching this video enjoy have a nice day